Hey YouTubers and welcome back to another episode here on ESGN Net and this is NBA 2K18 My Career with Brian Pitts. This is episode number 11 and we're taking on the Clippers here today. Now uh, before we start the video I want to apologize right now. My voice is kind of uh, a little weird today. I'm kind of going through uh, going through an illness right now and uh, so just guys gotta kind of bear with me here. As uh, we'll take a look here, Oklahoma City right now, 8-3 and three right now in the division. As uh, we're going to be taking on, like I said, the Clippers here. Uh, the Clippers right now, uh, I believe, are just three games behind the Warriors there in the Pacific Division. Uh, we'll see their numbers here in just a bit. But we had a, uh, Brian had a decent game there. Six points, five rebounds, two assists uh, against the Nuggets. Winning that one, 97-95, a really close game there. But of course, you know he's got some um, added time to his. Uh, well, he added. I think they added another two more minutes. So he's playing about 14 minutes of, uh, per game, and of course he really wants to, you know, be playing, uh, you know, full time. You know, he wants to be a starter. He wants to be, or at least a guy that come off the bench. He wants to be at least a six, six or seventh man there, where you can get a little bit more time. Now, uh, well, today we'll show you guys here some just uh, his some training facility here. As he's there, and really nobody's there here today. Just a couple people there. Uh, of course, uh, if you've been playing your uh, my career, uh, I know my from well, at least my my career uh, in this one. Uh, there are a lot of people playing as the Thunder there, uh, so it's, it's kind of interesting that uh, there's that, that many people playing because every time I log in, there's just tons and tons of people there. Uh, so, but um, I, I think that's different for every single team, but. Uh, we'll see here Pitts just trying to work out here trying to get some things going for himself trying to earn that XP there as we go along here uh, to get the, you know earn that XP that, that gets us more chances here to get some playing time in and uh, of course you know you know with the XP that we or the overall the XP we got just doesn't, doesn't really mean we're gonna get a starting position we got to play well and we got to show the coach that we're playing well as you see there Brian uh, not having a good time here with this uh, exercise here as he is just trying his best here to do this one uh, kind of difficult task there now we'll see him with the ropes here he's just gonna kind of just get his speed up and, and just kind of get as many reps as he can here in the next minute or so uh, but for the most part here this this my career is a little different from last year uh, I kind of wish they added this feature into last year's game um, but at the same time I kind of wish they've kind of uh, left some stuff alone um, and there, there's a few things there I don't really care for um, this year uh, as opposed to last year. I think for me, last year I think I just had a lot. I had a little too much fun with uh, Bart there. And uh, and don't get me wrong, we're gonna bring Bart back. He's gonna come back. Eventually we'll have some a couple new episodes of him uh, at some point here because uh, that's the series I, I've been really really enjoying there uh, a lot more than I have ever. Uh, and a lot more episodes than I've ever had uh, with a My Career uh, series here. But we'll see here, uh, Brian again doing the, some more uh, workouts here. Just trying to get his speed up and trying to get his agility and stuff like that. Just get himself ready for this game here coming up against the Clippers. Now, like I said, Clippers are just three games behind uh, the Warriors there, I believe. Uh, either in second or third place there. Uh, and, of course, uh, you know, you got... Uh, Blake Griffin there that we're probably going to have to go head head to head here and in this game here and we'll see what we can do against him uh, of course uh, Blake Griffin and a uh, former um, Big 12 guy uh, back in the day when uh, when he uh, when Blake Griffin was playing for uh, Oklahoma of course Brian and him never met each other uh, in college or anything like that uh, because you know Brian is you know a little bit older than Blake Griffin I would say about four or five years older than him so they really didn't get to see much of each other and of course you know uh, and, you know Brian you know he's been traveling the world playing as a DJ after his college there he didn't really um, you know he had a very successful college career and, and was going to go pro but uh, decided to just you know he was having really good success as a DJ tra traveling the world and and uh, playing for different people uh, throughout the world and different venues so like that. So, um, you know, the NFL was, or the uh, NBA, I should say, it was always in, uh, you know, it was, it was there for him, but he just wanted to try other things. So that's why we uh, have him in this series, trying to get his career going here. 
Let's take a look here and see him on the treadmill here. I think this is a really cool feature this year that they added to towards training and stuff like that. Uh, I know a lot of people go uh, on this one here. I know every time Brian comes in here, uh, he always says that the uh, treadmills are always, uh, you know, full of people there. He can never get there and, and uh, get on, you know, on treadmill. And today was actually one of the few days here that he was actually able to get on the treadmill and do some running here, try and get that cardio in, because uh, you know he wants to be on, you know, he wants to be on the part of that uh, starting uh, five there. And uh, I can see him being a part of starting five here before uh, we get to the all-star break here. So he's been put, putting in the work here, and now he's just got to try to put more effort into it. But uh, we're going to go ahead and leave the training facility here and just kind of get ready here. We're going to go next door, and we're going to go to the uh, team uh, practice facility and uh, get a workout in and talk maybe to Shammy here and see what's going on for this Clippers game. Oh, Let's check it out. Hey, Rook, Rook, come here, come here, man. Coach and Aaron over there getting heated, man. Something about you. Just stand here and pretend like we talk. Listen, I know you're not a numbers guy, but DJ's per possession numbers, his plus and minus, and the team's overall performance when he's on the court are sky high. You don't have to tell me. I know I'm not a numbers guy. And yes, I do know that DJ was a steal of a signing for us. Ooh, it looked like SK throwing some body in it. Hey, shh. Hey, you can hear them? Not with you yapping, bro. I got 2020 here. Okay, okay. Hey, wait, I thought that was for sight. Tell coach DJ's on and off and net don't ratings. Tell me how to do my job. Look, I'm, I'm sorry. I know coach has a way of thinking, but it's beginning to become a problem. Coach knows his guys. I mean, he can read the temperature of a locker room better than anybody I know in this business. You have the luxury of dealing with just the numbers. I mean, let's be honest, you're not really a people's guy. I like people. Yeah, but do people like you? I mean, numbers are cold, and so are you, and that's fine with your job. But coach has to ask these guys to do something that at times isn't always in their interest. That requires psychology, empathy, art, and a little bit of numbers. But we all know that numbers aren't everybody's life. Numbers don't lie. Plain and simple, DJ's our guy. DJ's time will come. That's all I can tell you for right now. So I told her. <laughs> what up, coach? So I told her there's no way in a million Shammy, years. Nah, DJ, please, get some shots up. Sure thing, coach. We're on it. Okay, so Brian uh, there talking with Shammy and overhearing a pretty good uh, and kind of intense conversation between the two there. As you take a look here, Brian uh, working out here one on one on uh, posting up and, and defending uh, the goal here. But yeah, pretty intense conversation there. You see uh, the guys, one of the guys from the uh, stats area talking about him possibly, uh, you know, looking at his stats there, he's a guy that could be. Uh, getting called up, maybe as yes, they, uh, you know, get more playing time, or possibly uh, getting, um, you know, maybe even being the sixth man, you know, getting called on, called out of, off the bench a lot more. Uh, but of course, the coach says, you know, numbers uh, don't always tell the truth. You know, you got other factors what goes into it, which I, I in a lot of ways, I kind of believe him, and I, I kind of believe in that because, uh, you know, it's just, you know, he might be putting up good numbers, but. I mean, yeah, I kind of look at the, I don't know. I guess you could play devil advocate, advocate in this situation here. He's just like, okay, what has he done for us lately? Has he been consistent? And, you know, and and is this, you know, how is this going to affect other guys on the team? What, you know, what compared to, you know, I think the guy that's a starter for the center position, I think it's Steven Adams. So we got to look at Steven Adams' numbers. What he's done for the team, and uh, you know how many games has he, you know, has he played? Has he been a been a huge impact for them, um, and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of that stuff has to factor in here, in this situation. Um, and yeah, I you know like I said, I, I you know trust me, I want Brian to be uh, a starter here as soon as possible. But honestly, here in the last couple of games, he's missed some quite a few shots there, especially underneath the rim. Uh, which has been kind of, kind of nagging, nagging some, and uh, been kind of an issue for at least for me. Um, I don't understand why he's missing those easy shots like that underneath the rim. Um, but we'll, you know, we'll have to see if that that'll change here. Uh, maybe he'll have a, a better game here. Last time I believe he had a really good game was a couple episodes ago where he scored what 18 points, I think it was something like that. 
Um, so yeah, he's been. I mean, he hasn't been the then that kind of you know really consistent on his numbers and what he can do there on the court. So I can see the coach's concern about you know putting him on the court there um, as a starter or even a guy coming off the bench a lot more. Uh, you know, he is, you know, they are trying to get him him his 14, you know, minutes per game uh, and see what he can do with that. And in some games, he's been taking advantage of that. Other games, he's been getting, you know, I think in the last game there, he was getting in some foul trouble there. So he wasn't able to, uh, you know, do too much there. Um, you know, practice has been kind of tough on, you know, been tough with him, especially with some of these drills here. So, uh, you know, he hasn't just, he's... I wouldn't say he hadn't put the effort into it, but he just hasn't turned that corner just yet of uh, really showing what the potential, um, you know, the true potential he has uh, as a uh, future basketball star. So, uh, we'll, you know, um, I, yeah, and, and with another way, you also say to, you know, numbers don't lie. Uh, if he's putting up some really good numbers and he's, um, you know, he's been coming to practice as, you know, as much as he can. And as often as they can, and putting in the extra work there, um, you know he does. And then Mike, in that case, he deserves to be a guy that can be stepped up here. So we'll go ahead and get into this game here. Like I said, we're gonna play against the Clippers here at, at home at Chesapeake Energy Arena here. And there you see the both squads' records right now. And of course, the Thunder would like just keep on moving on here with another win, and to uh, try to get uh, Blake Griffin and company off the uh, rails here and keep and continue them like I said uh, they have been not been playing too well here and we'll try to see if we can uh, try to keep ourselves go afloat here uh, in our division and also keeping pace here with uh, teams like Houston uh, coming up here that we'll be playing here very soon so uh, there you see Russell Westbrook of course the uh, Westbrook playing a really having a really great year with the club so far here he's our go-to guy he's our star player and you know at some point here Bryant would like to be in that same position uh, there you see now I believe we'll be f uh, I think we'll be playing against Blake Griffin at, from time to time but we'll also be uh, going against uh, DeAndre Jordan there uh, who's a very uh, very physical player underneath the basket there and so that's gonna be something that we're gonna have to deal with uh, if, whenever we get into the ball game here today I don't know if we're um, how many minutes we're going to be playing. We may get our full 14. We may get less than that. So uh, it just depends on our play. We just, we're just we trying to play well here. As we take a look here, we're about uh, about eight minutes into, or about, yeah, about there's eight minutes left or so here in the first quarter here. We'll see. We're down by quite a bit here. And we'll try to see if we can try to get back in this one. As a... Uh, they're just doing a good job here, moving the ball around the, uh, around the court there. And then you see DeAndre Jordan try to get a slam on that one, but could not pay off there. But then Westbrook there, he will return the favor there on the other end there, and he'll get his slam in, and that's going to be a nice bucket. So we'll see 16-11 now here just a few minutes later here in the ball game, taking on Blake Griffin. Griffin can't get the first shot in, but he does get the second shot and then gets a foul there, courtesy of Brian Pitts there. On that one, so Blake uh, Griffin there taking his time here, being very dominant there in the uh, paint there. As uh, Bryant, for whatever reason here lately, he's just not been his dominant self here. And we'll try to see if that will. Uh, I think that's another factor there that comes into him playing uh, more, getting more minutes here uh, with this ball club here. As you see Westbrook knocks that one now. That's a deep three there. So now we'll see here later, a little later on here another deep three from uh, the Thunder as they just another one swishes there, and that's going to be a nice one there. As uh, now we'll see here we're just two uh, points now behind them here as we go in there and Brian gets a nice uh, lay in there on that post move there, nice job there and tying this ball game up now 22 apiece. Shammy knocks one down deep. That's another three. That's now 25-22. As uh, Oklahoma City now starting to come back here, putting some good shots here together. That's a bad shot there, but they're able to lay that one back up in there and get the bucket there. So Oklahoma City now just putting some good shots here, trying to take their time here. Brian trying to find himself here as he's just getting shuffled around here down low. And that's another issue right there. He's just not getting physically dominant down there. 
And he needs to be there. As you see, they get a block shot there as Brian tried to put that one up there. No good there as they now have to play, go back on defense here and try to see if they can get this, uh, get a, them to miss a shot here as that one goes in there for a land. Go under a minute now left here in the first quarter. And we'll see they're down by, or up by two now as we'll see Brian underneath the basket. Makes another nice uh, little hook shot there underneath. A nice one there from him. Brian again now gets the ball. Makes another deep shot there. Trying to make a deep two there. Could not make it, but that will go ahead and get, uh, we'll see, uh, I believe that's uh, Steven Adams there. He'll go to the line here, and he will go take uh, two shots here, as we'll see. Uh, just 3.6 seconds left here before we get to the second quarter, and Oklahoma City leads it by two, as Adams uh, knocks that one in now. So up by three, and we could be possibly up by four by the end of this quarter. Nope, that one does not go in, as Gallinari will try to Throws this one up, and that is going to be a three, and that's going to tie this one up. Whoa, what a shot there going into the second quarter. So now we'll go midway of the second quarter here. We'll see 45-39 now. Oklahoma City now again trailing here as they are down by now six here. As we'll see now 47-41. Pitt's going to go up, and he will miss a shot there. That's going to be a bad shot as he misses that one. As No, you see Westbrook now steals this one. Takes us down the court here and slams it down. Nice job there from Russell as he takes that one in there and gets the bucket. So 55-43 now here. Just underneath the two-minute mark here in the second quarter. As we'll see Pitts here top of the key here trying to find a good uh, shot here for himself. And he's going to be down low here. He's going to knock that one in there. Nice job there. Good ball movement there from Oklahoma City. As we'll see here, another nice uh, dual effort there from uh, the Clippers there. As Clear Griffin almost had a lay in there, and but that one just comes up short. And Brian gets pushed out there as he tries to drive the lane. And that is going to cause a uh, issue for him as he's going to have to sit out now as we go to the second half. As the uh, Oklahoma City now here at home. Uh, not, uh, not, not doing really good right now. They're down by 15. But they got to get themselves together here. They still got it. They still within a shot here to try to win this one here today. As we'll go ahead and see that uh, we'll see Billy Donald in there. He'll talk about what the uh, team needs to do, and we'll see that uh, we'll see. We'll we'll see the second half here. What Brian can do is you see 45 seconds left here as Oklahoma City is down by nine, and not much there for them him really to do here as he's just got to try to keep himself uh, in this game here and just make some good shots as uh, that one just hits off the rim there. That's going to be a foul, and that will be, I believe, on Andre Jordan as he will foul out there. 20 points, uh, he'll leave the ball game there, and we'll see that Andre Jordan there will go ahead and foul out, and now we'll see here what Patterson can do here. I think he has a foul shot here, and there you see now down by eight. So not much effort, not much for us really to do. They're gonna bring in the scrubs to play uh, for the Clippers here, along with Oklahoma. They're gonna bring in some guys to play, uh, come in and take over some minutes here. As uh, we'll be have to sit down here, and yep, that is it for this one. As Oklahoma City loses this one, 112 to 105, as they come up short on this one. So. Another loss here tonight as we just, I don't know, just things are not going right for us here lately. And, man, we just, uh, for, at least for Brian, he's missed a lot of open shots there. And we got to try to get him get him to go, get get together, get something going here for himself as he's just been really struggling here as of late. And those, uh, we got to work on those, uh, you know, bat, those underneath the basket shots. He's been missing those a lot, those lands layups and stuff like that so that's something we're gonna have to look into we're gonna have to talk to coach about that and get some more um practice time in it's all part of the game dj everybody loses mj Shaq, kobe even old boogie but not at rochambeau you get what i'm saying i get it man i need to be a motivational speaker the way i'm piping these Okay, so a tough loss there for us. 
But we're going to have to move on here as we get a uh, message here from the coach. And he texts us, let us know that, hey, he's going to give us some more playing time here for ourselves. So that's always nice. Uh, I guess he somewhat impressed with what we, what I was, well, at least what Brian was able to do there in tonight's game. But uh, they're going to offer him some more playing time and give him some more chances here to try to get uh, some things worked out there on the court, which is always nice. Uh, so they're they're looking at it. They're, they see that he's working on it. He's working on it. He's got some potential, and he's uh, just trying his best out there to do what he can do there. You know, especially with them. You know, limited time he has. Um, you know, because you know you gotta try to get everybody, at least everybody, in some playing time in there to you know get see what they can do. Um, you know, you you don't get to really show off what you can actually do on the court there. Um, you know, with a you know set amount of time. So if you're only getting 10 to 12 minutes a game, um, you know you you know you're not really showing off what you're everything you can do or you you would be able to do. So we'll see if that'll help us out here coming up in the next game as we take on the Mavericks. There, Mavericks. They're 11th in the West right now. Uh, they are five and seven, and we're hoping to see what we can do against them as the uh, Mavericks will be. Um, in uh, well, yeah, they're five games back behind the Rockets right now, and they've lost uh, the last two games uh, as of late here. So, uh, Mavericks not in bad shape here, but we're trying to see if we can just uh, you know cause more issues for them, and we're trying to see if we can get a victory against them coming up in this next game. So, we'll be hosting the uh, Dallas Mavericks coming up here, Dirk Nowinski and company, in the next episode. So, stay tuned for episode number 12 as we take on the Mavericks here in uh, NBA 2K18. My career, Brian Pitts. If you guys enjoyed the episode today, leave a like. Also, don't forget to subscribe and share this video for let, to let other people know where, how they can find this series and other great series here on ESGNet. Follow us on uh, social media, on Facebook, Twitter, and on Discord. You guys can check us out there for the latest news and events. And check us out there. Uh, you guys, you guys, will, uh, a lot of you guys have been following us there. So thank you guys so much for doing that, and continue getting the word out about ESGN Net here on YouTube. That's it for me, you guys. As always, keep yourselves healthy, and I will see you guys next time.